Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading for August the 14th through the 20th. I hope you're doing absolutely magnificent. This is your love reading. So we're going to take a look at the um, sea, soul, sea Soul Journey Oracle as well as our Lightseer's Tarot. They show up very good on the screen and so I chose to continue to use them. They've all been pre-shuffled. So I'd like to welcome all of you to the channel, whether you're new or whether you're returning. I truly value your presence here. While you're here, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe down in the little corner and become part of the Empress Empire. We are all a nice big happy family here and we would love to have you join us for some live streams and some live chat. And also if you could, Gemini, if you could hit that lovely thumbs up button so that YouTube can get to know the fact that I am back. <laughs> we need the algorithms to start picking me up again. So thank you very much in advance for your help with that. I truly appreciate it. All right, let's get started. Gemini, just as a reminder, up on the website, empressmoontarot.com, we have 30% off of all personal readings as well as personal Reiki. And for a limited time, I have brought back the 15-minute reading. So if that's of interest to you, do um, go ahead and hop on over to Empress Moon Tarot and get your reading book today. All right. So you have enough. This card is saying, hey, Gemini, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> Hope that wasn't too loud for you. It says, hey, Gemini, you are enough. It says, may you be exactly as you are. Don't change for anybody. Just remember, you are enough. You are amazing. You are wonderful. You are fabulous in the you. And, and there is no other you out there. So don't change for anybody. May you, may you be exactly as you are. All right, so we have the King of Swords crossed by the Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, how beautiful, the Lovers, Five of Swords, ooh, Ace of Wands, okay. Gemini, it looks like this may be a new love that's coming in. Okay, Seven of Pentacles as your overall energy. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, well, the beauty of the Seven of Pentacles is this, this is you putting in work and effort into your life in order to bring about a sense of stability, in order to bring about a harvest. So a harvest in this case would be love, right? Because that's what this, this spread is about, bringing in love into your life. We have a potential new person here with the Ace of Wands. However, I really feel that we're, you're already dealing with somebody you know. And the reason I say that is because you don't get to the Ten of Cups Foundation immediately. Even with Love at First Sight, which you would kind of get with this Lover's card here, even with that, which is in our past, you wouldn't immediately jump to the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups takes time to build, you know? It's the kind of love that, that builds over time. And so... I don't really think this is a new person that you're focused on, but it could be a new person in the near future. So if you're in separation from this person, we may have somebody else kind of waltzing on in in the very near future. You seem to be in a very reflective state right now, Gemini, with this King of Swords. Reflecting on, reflecting on the future, reflecting on the, or thinking on the future, reflecting on the past. This is an energy of, of gaining truth and clarity. There may be something that you're wanting to say to your person of interest. However, we have this strong, immature, flaky energy that we're getting from your person. Immature and flaky. They make promises they can't keep. It's hard for them to follow through. You might have been hoping for an opportunity to talk to this person, but because they're flaky, because they don't follow through, that opportunity looks like it has sailed. In the past, you and this person had a super strong bond, very strong bond. You may have felt like this was fate or destiny because the bond was so strong, so intense. But your mind is focused on something that ended between the two of you some sort of difficult conversation where somebody had to have the last word, the last say, 
and whomever had to have the last word, the last say. They acted as if they won, but in reality, they did not. Because there's always a price for that victory. And the price for the victory is usually two people walking away. And then we have the Ace of Wands in the near future. So Gemini, it's possible you have somebody new coming in. Despite the fact that your heart and your mind are set on somebody that you deeply love, whom you are in separation from or had a bad fight with. We have the Ace of Wands. This could be a brand new person or this could be your person coming around with this beautiful energy. Let's take some more cards to gain some insight. Two of Swords. Oh, this is your advice. Hmm. It's almost like Spirit is saying, don't make a decision right now. Maybe you've decided you're going to write this person off. They're saying, no, 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 don't make a decision right now. Or maybe you've decided you're going to let them back in and Spirit's saying, no, 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 no. Don't make a decision just yet. Just yet. Stop and pause. Stop and pause. Justice. Okay. It's possible this person may want to make right what happened in the past. It's also possible if you meet somebody new, be careful, they may be married. If you think they may be married, just go with your gut because it's possible they may be married if you meet somebody new. Um, with the justice card here, though, I feel there's going to be an opportunity for you to get some sort of reward for everything that you've put into this particular connection. And that reward simply could be that somebody shows you shows you the kind of interest that makes you recognize that yes indeed you are enough exactly as you are uniquely and amazingly you right hopes and fears we have the magician um there's a fear of not being enough literally in this particular case a fear of not being enough not having enough not doing enough not being perfect and a hope that maybe you can materialize some movement here the outcome, the world. Ooh. All right, we're going to take the additional cards on this because the world could be that you're moving on to something new. The world could also be that you are um, coming to a new cycle with this person. I'm going to take one more car on, card on that. I have a specific question. Okay. Um, so, Gemini, I feel like I feel like you're going to be entertaining somebody new. With the world, I feel like you're going to put an end to all these worries, all these fears. Because Spirit is specifically saying, don't make a decision on this just yet. Because you, like you need to feel like you're enough for this person. You need to feel like, you know, what you bring to the table is being uh, appreciated, you know. And so here we have this, this card of being strong despite adversity. And then some sort of communication comes in quite rapidly that makes you very excited, makes you happy. And I specifically asked if it was somebody new um, or if, you know, the old situation was ending and they brought in the tower, which would indicate the old situation is very likely ending. Um, an old situation you're currently not in, but did end. And so I feel that this is you kind of coming back to life as a result of somebody new it's coming in rather rapidly and it's very exciting and it could be everything that you wished for and hoped for just in a different package right so everything you wished and hoped for but not as you expected it and so there's a strong possibility that that's what we're seeing here but I see happy movement forward in a in a new cycle getting ready to start for you so that looks really fantastic I'm gonna leave that there Gemini love and light to you big hug kiss kiss Mwah. I hope that you have an absolutely beautiful week, and I will see you on Wednesday for your general reading. Until then, ta-ta.